Welcome back to another Chasing the Dream, everybody. So we're talking about how the hunting and the outdoors fishing, it brings people together. Well, an event that we always like to be a part of is the Nebraska Deer and Game Expo in Lincoln. It's a great opportunity for us to meet fans, meet people, and meet other outdoorsmen. And wouldn't you know, we <laughs> met a guy by the name of Jeff Mullenix that has his own outdoor company, Pop-Up Blind, huge in the waterfowl industry. And we hit it off fairly well. And wouldn't you know it, he got us in touch with some other folks they were part of a big, big uh, fundraiser out in western central Nebraska by the name of the Nebraska One Box Pheasant Hunt. I heard about this. I knew about this. Being a Husker fan, some uh, former Huskers and coaches were like celebrity guests of the Nebraska One Box. So I watched it through that. I knew about it, but I didn't know about it like Jeff did. So hitting it off with Jeff and getting to talk about the Nebraska One Box kind of opened up some more doors for us. Let's go. He's nice. Now that's a giant. <laughs> Finally happened. Oh man. Wow. Look at the payoff. So Heidi and I happened to be in Lincoln uh, one day or one weekend and uh, the, the Nebraska Deer and Game Expo was going on and I thought well you know it's a good opportunity for us to go out and meet some of the folks there that are in the outdoor industry see what's going on in the state of Nebraska and what people are doing. So we ended up down there and uh, meeting some really cool guys from Chasing the Dream TV, um, namely Garrett uh, at that day, and uh, hit it off, uh, started some communication together. Um, down the road, we ended up connecting with uh, his partner, and uh, we decided it would be a good opportunity for us to, as the Nebraska One Box Pheasant Hunt, to talk about the pheasant hunt, what we do for local youth, the shooting sports, and also it would be a good opportunity for them to come out and, uh, and put a, some film together of us uh, doing what we do. The first night of the One Box Pheasant Hunt is really um, the excitement. You know, these guys have sent in their resumes of who they are and what they do, and uh, all of a sudden Thursday night comes about, and it's like you're back on, on, on the stage, um, uh, the big stage of life, where they're, they're introducing the teams, they're talking about your bios, what you've done your whole life, how you make a living, what you enjoy doing in your, your off time. And uh, it really is exciting as they call these teams up, they bring out the, the music, uh, you know, for them to come out to. They introduce the teams, uh, they draw dog handlers, they draw, uh, uh, they draw the, for the land that they hunt on, and they also draw for the scorekeepers. And that's how we get started with the Nebraska One Box Pheasant Hunt on Thursday night. Landowners come out, it's, a, it's an appreciation for the landowners in the area. Uh, food is provided, uh, drinks are provided. It's a great time and it's a great way to get the weekend started uh, for the Nebraska One Box Pheasant Hunt. So day two of the Nebraska One Box Pheasant Hunt starts out at the gun club in Broken Bow, west of town. And it's really a, a great time for these guys to come out. Some of these guys have shot uh, a lot of sporting clays and uh, trap and some have not shot at all. So this is an opportunity for them to, to drag their guns out, uh, some, some of them for the first time that year, um, fire off some shells. And what really happens is they keep score. And what happens is they use those scores then for the Calcutta that evening and uh, determining you know, which guys are the sharpshooters, which guys have the best opportunity to really put some birds on the ground on Saturday morning. So there's a lot of trash talking going on and some, you know, some guys didn't shoot as well and they've, everybody's got an excuse for why they didn't shoot well. And of course, the ones that shot well are, are walking around with a puffed out chest uh, for the evening at the banquet.
after a day at the gun range, what happens is, is there's a little lull in the day and guys will go back, they'll, they'll rest a little bit, they'll take some time to themselves. And what they're getting ready for is the parties uh, that, the, that are hosted by different folks in the community on Friday night. Um, six or seven teams, whatever there is that year, each team has their, their group of guys there or gals and, and they, uh, they, the, the hosts provide food and beverages and people throughout the community just come by and stop and, in, and are introducing these folks and are welcoming them. There's people from all over the United States uh, that come to the event. Uh, Georgia always, always sends a big, uh, big team of folks. You know, there's folks from Colorado. There's literally, um, you know, movie stars, there's professional athletes, there's politicians. It's a great time to introduce yourself to these people in the community. After the parties, um, we all get together uh, that Friday evening, and that's when uh, when everybody's get, it gets a little tense because these guys are now finding out who shot what. They're auctioning off the teams um, to find out who's going to do the best the next day. Um, everybody's talking to their guides and their landowners. They're trying to figure out uh, who's got pheasants, who's been seeing birds. Um, and uh, we also have an auction uh, that evening that raises money for the Nebraska One Box Pheasant Hunt. Um, and ultimately that money is used for youth in the area, um, Broken Bow or anybody associated with the One Box Pheasant Hunt for scholarships. And it is also used to support the, the Broken Bow shooting team, the, the One Box Crushers, who every year go down and shoot at the national event and end up either first or second place. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to support that team and again, they are number one and two in the nation every time they go out and shoot. Uh, so it's really a fun opportunity for us to support somebody like that. So as, as Friday night winds down, um, there's been a few beverages consumed. There's been a lot of trash talking and people are getting prepared for Saturday morning. Everybody kind of says their goodnights and their final goodbyes and it's off to bed because the sun comes up off early on Saturday morning when you've been out having a good time for two days. So here we are, the culmination of the hunt, which is Saturday morning, the time that we actually get to experience the Nebraska One Box Pheasant Hunt. Um, what a crisp morning it was. It, it was just absolutely beautiful and, and, uh, and really the gateway to the sand hills of Nebraska. The, the teams meet for breakfast that morning and and they end up uh, you know, meeting up with their, their uh, the dog handlers and everybody goes out to the, the property that they're going to be hunting on together. We get out there in the morning, you know, the, the rules, if you will, or the laws are laid down. Um, the dog handlers are telling folks, you know, to keep their shots high. Um, the, the scorekeeper is telling them about how they're going to keep score for the event. Um, the guys are getting pretty jittery. And it's, it's at, as you age in life, it's probably the most competitive thing you're going to do this year um, relative to a sporting event, if you will, um, at the Nebraska One Box Pheasant Hunt. Oh,
getting started here with the Nebraska One Box with Brian Sewell, team captain here of one of the seven teams. Brian, beautiful morning. How'd it go for you guys? Well, we're a little rusty, as you can tell. We're, we're shooting about 50%, so a little less than 50%. But we saw a lot of birds. Uh, we missed three. We shot four, found three. So we're a little behind the eight ball, but we'll turn it around. Hey, if you're talking baseball, batting 500 is pretty good, but I don't know about the one box. The one box. <laughs> so what do we got coming up here? Well, we got a lot of wild birds, and we're having a hard time getting them out of the cover and getting them up in here because they're such good covers. Um, but I think we're going to go through on some of the really thick stuff. Yeah. Uh, and you made a fantastic point. We're in some really thick switchgrass. I think when people think central Nebraska, they might not think a cover like this, but we really got a treat out here. Yeah, you don't ever get a chance to hunt irrigated prairie grass. <laughs> so it's, it's the thickest cover I think I've ever hunted. Once these guys get through that first field, there may have been an air, uh, a shot or two fired. And, uh, and, and they kind of get rid of that nervousness. Uh, and nobody wants to miss the first shot. You know, everybody wants to be one for one and then two for two, but it doesn't, doesn't work out that way very often. Um, these guys kind of get in the groove and, and the walk begins, right? And as we all know, uh, upland game hunting uh, involves quite a bit of walking. And uh, these folks have got some of the best ground and the best property to hunt on in the state of Nebraska as far as cover goes and, uh, and the availability of, uh, of birds. All righty, so we're back in it with the Nebraska One Box. A little break in the action. Just wrapped up a morning hunt with a group out of Georgia here, Georgia. Mickey Rogers. Now, Mickey, how did you learn about the, the One Box? How did you get involved here? Well, I first started out here hunting the dove hunt that they do. It's called the Shoot and Shout. I do it early September. And a good friend of mine that actually introduced me to, to uh, bird hunting he taught me how to shoot. Okay. Brought me out here and just fell in love with the place. Yeah. Been trying to get on the list for, for quite some time, and finally we're here. And so you brought a whole group out of Georgia here? We did. How are those guys enjoying it? They're loving it. At least they say they are. <laughs> yeah. Three of the guys are from my Rotary Club and, uh, All right. and, and, and one younger fellow, and they seem to be really enjoying it. I see you guys kind of had a, a little salute there at the end, kind of congratulating one another. You guys kind of wrapped it up early here. We did. We did. We had a great morning. I don't know if that's normal for this, <laughs> but the, the, the guides and the scorekeepers seem to think everything's working out fine, so hopefully we'll have a good day. The best part about it is the people, right? I, I mean, I'd have never got to 100%. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that there were other nice people in Nebraska. I met you and I was wondering. <laughs> and now we've discovered there's some A lot really of people cool. wondering about me, man. Just yeah, the first. Just, that's the whole goal and you said it best. Um, you come here, um, we, we trick people into coming here for pheasants or with pheasants and they come back because of the people. Every time, yeah, yeah that's absolutely that's right. 100 true. Yeah, that's what I. That's the way I came in 2007, and I immediately called my wife and said, 2008, you're coming back because this is, you know, we're, we're two miles down the road or two hours down the road. <laughs> I said, this is this is just good folks and good yeah. people. We've been coming back ever since. By Thursday night, it's apparent to these guys that have come in and gals that have come in to hunt that uh, that they're coming back again and again and again. Uh, you can shoot pheasants in a lot of different places in the country, but nobody hosts an event like they do in Broken Bow, Nebraska. <laughs> yep. I, I can't think of any guys I'd rather do it with. Okay, yeah, guys. Like, so, good to hear. You know, we've thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, it's awesome. I think, I think the guys enjoyed it. Y'all enjoy it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so we're back at the One Box, just wrapped up a real fun afternoon, successful afternoon. I'm with Jeff Evans. Now, Jeff, you've been with the organization for quite a while, filled different roles. For folks that don't know at home, kind of tuned in here, what is the One Box and how did it kind of get started? Okay, so the One Box started in uh, 1961 and it's been running every year since then. So this is the 61st year. I believe, I hope wow. I have that right. Two. 61st year, 62nd year, okay. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, it's it's been that whole time and it's evolved as it's gone along. Uh, right now we have three boards that take care of it. Uh, we have a foundation board, a hump board, and then we have the gun club group that helps with that. So kind of hey. three organizations rolled into it. Uh, the hunt board puts on the hunt every year 
uh, takes care of all the details of the hunt and everything you've seen this weekend, recruiting the teams, doing all those sort of things. Uh, the gun club is run by a separate group of guys who run shoots throughout the, the year to help fund the, the gun club and the, okay. the shooting range and everything. And then the foundation board then administers uh, a lot of the rest of the stuff just to see what's going on and stuff. Uh, so like scholarships and uh, the funding for it and everything, I, I happen to right now be the treasurer of the foundation and so help with that. Uh, Paul Omer's the president at the moment. So. And that's what I've been hearing a lot about is there's money being raised for really great causes, terrific causes. Can you kind of run down a, a little list of where some of these monies go to? You just mentioned some scholarships? Yeah, that's right. So there's a couple of things that happen. So the scholarships, uh, are right now we're at about 400,000 in scholarships. Wow. And people like Louis Stidham, a, a lot of people put their own money into it and run it through our foundation. So the Stidham family does it, several other families have done that. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is when you see, uh, we have the hunt runs the hunt, the hunt board operates the hunt and their intent is to break even just to cover yeah. the expenses for, for the right. weekend and for putting on the hunt, which is really quite a lot, right? Yeah. But then, the auction items that you'll see last night and tonight, those monies go over and those monies are used to, to fund scholarships and, and uh, uh, youth shooting and, and the gun club. And what we do is we even, we buy guns for them. We furnish some of the ammunition if they need it. We do whatever we need to do to make sure kids have an opportunity to go through hunter safety and then join the shooting group. And just one comment on the, on the shooting, and you heard a little of this last night, you might hear a little more today, but they have won the national championship, the team from Broken Bow, Nebraska, two <laughs> years running. I mean, it's pretty impressive. They're going up against teams from places like Dallas, yeah. uh, Houston, uh, all, all over the South, you know, much, much larger communities, right? Yeah. And our kids are, are uh, beating them. So uh, Jim Duncan and uh, Dave, Dave Stunkel, are the coaches of that and obviously fantastic coaches and a bunch of really great kids that shoot in that. And we just had a fantastic opportunity. You mentioned that this has been around 62nd year in its existence. A guy that's been around for almost all 60 of them? Oh yes, that's right. So I started in 73 and I'm kind of one of the young guys that's, you know, 49 <laughs> okay. years. Yeah, yeah. But no, Louis Stedham, who's hunt, who was hunting with us here today, uh, this, this is, he missed one year. So he didn't come the first year, so he's been here for 61 years wow. to every hunt and been on all the boards and participated wow. in the hunt. Uh, he's done everything and continues to do that. Uh, even We were talking today, uh, you know, Louie taught me in junior high. Louie's 85 years old and he was out here hunting with us today. Amazing. An, an impressive guy. And really just paying it forward, as you mentioned, the scholarships and other youth hunting programs, and that's where a lot of this gets focused back to. Yeah, exactly. The other thing I'd mention with Louie is he's helped with uh, the hunter safety, the youth hunter safety for years and years and years, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it, yeah. really, that's ded the dedication it takes for an organization like this to continue. So if folks want to get involved or learn more about the Nebraska One Box, where do they need to go? Is there a website, maybe yeah. a social media page? Yeah, so there's a there's a website. It's just just type in Nebraska One Box, and it'll get you right to that website. Uh, and and you can see who to contact. You'll know who the chairman's going to be of next year's board, and and give them contact numbers for them. You can actually start to register your team online. You can see pictures from this year's hunt and the last several years. So there's all sorts of information there. It tells you about the gun club and how to get in contact with those guys. So it's all right there. So how much fun was that? Got to bounce around with all the teams, those boys out of Georgia, they were a hoot to be with. It was also really cool to see the whole town, how they light up and it really wrapped their arms around the one box. So that was an excellent experience as well. Wrapping up today's hunt, I'm with Jack Lynch from one of the dog handlers here. And Jack, you guys really make it go and especially the rock stars here. So who do we have with us here today? We got uh, Cody, he's a four year old male and uh, um, Teal, she's eight year old female. And what goes into it for you and the dogs on a day like this? Well, I think it all starts with, uh, you know, the guides and, and the quality of ground they got to, to hunt on. And, and we're just lucky to be here and happy to help out. And, but as far as training wise, I mean, there goes a lot into it um, uh, for a good dog, you know, and obedience, that, that's a, 
but we like to bird hunt and we do a lot of it and I think that helps. And kind of dive into that for me. What really makes you want to be a part of this event today? Is it the people, the culture, getting your dogs out? <laughs> Well, first, uh, if you're not hunting behind your dogs, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, not the same, right? But one box had such, such um, uh, history behind it and, and the good that it does for, for the county of Broken Bow, uh, the scholarships it does. Um, so I think a lot of that is just something we can donate ourselves. And the, and the guys coming in from all over the United States, they want a quality hunt. Yeah. You know, and we're, we're, we're trying our best to do, you know, get, get show them a good time and yeah. show them some birds. Well, we were with a group out of Georgia and they were just grateful as all get out. They couldn't believe the hospitality, the dog handlers, the guides, and they said right away, we're coming back, no doubt about it, because of people like yourself and the efforts you guys put into it. Sure, yeah. So now that we wrapped up a day of hunting, what are we in store for? I hear there's some events coming up. Yep, yeah, we go, uh, now it's check-in back at uh, in Broken Bow, okay. and then they uh, tally up the scores, and then tonight will be the, the social, and then you'll figure out uh, what spot you got. So, uh, but it's kind of a big old party. It's been a party all week, you <laughs> yeah. know, it's been great. And this is a big one to close it out. Yes, it is. Well, let's get back into town. Jack, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And we really enjoyed being part of the Nebraska One Box, all the fundraising and the fun events that go into it, supporting, you know, youth in the outdoors. I think we need more of that, especially uh, during these times. The more we can get somebody, especially a youngster, away from a screen and into the outdoors, uh, it's, it's for the good. And you want to talk about a top of the line type of event, the Nebraska One Box.